Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you as a subscriber so be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Today is going to be a bit of a different type of video for me. Never done a video like this and this video idea came to me last night while I was trying to go to bed just scrolling through Instagram and I came across some beautiful picture of Adele. Adele, the beautiful British singer Sunday night was her amazing concert one night with Adele and she just looked amazing the dress the makeup the hair the jewelry I was just in love with all of it and for whatever reason I was just really drawn to her makeup I love the way her makeup artist made her skin look she had a nice bronzy glow going on while still keeping it very neutral but dramatic on the eyes so I decided that I wanted to try and recreate this makeup look for you guys and I'm gonna be doing it using all drugstore all affordable makeup products so if you guys are a fan of Adele if you loved watching her concert special and if you loved her makeup look then this is gonna be hopefully the video for you. So if you guys wanna see how I recreate Adele's one night with Adele makeup look using all drugstore products keep on watching and guys i will link all the products that i'm using in today's video in the description box in case you want to check them out some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up purchasing i thank you so much for supporting me and my channel now i already have brows and mascara on that was a leftover from work today but the products that i used are most definitely drugstore products and they'll be listed in the description box so let's get started i'm going to kind of just scoot this way to one side because I want to keep Adele's picture up here. That way you guys can compare and see if I'm doing a good job while we go through this. I'll have to admit, guys, I am a little bit nervous. I haven't practiced this. This is just something that I thought of, you know, while I was going to bed last night. I thought it would be a fun video idea, um, especially because I know a lot of you guys, like myself, are huge fans of Adele. She has the most gorgeous voice, and this just seemed like a really fun video idea all right so I definitely think that she has matte foundation going on but her skin still has a slight glow to it it still looks like her skin but better so I'm gonna go in of course with primer first and I'm gonna use this one from elf this is the acne fighting putty primer I don't have acne thank goodness but this by far is the best putty primer of them all it smooths it blurs it just that's an amazing job of hydrating my skin and just prepping it for makeup application. It just feels so good. Like out of all of them, this just feels the smoothest and it doesn't cause excess oiliness. I am a normal to oily skin type and I've just, I've just really been loving this. Really, really been enjoying it. Now I'm going to remove my earrings because they tend to get in the way when I'm doing like my face makeup. I'll put them back on when I'm doing my eye makeup, but I wanted to wear something with a pearl and of course something that was affordable. I got these from Shein. Shein or Shine? Whatever. I always say Shein and they were like a dollar. If they're available, they will be linked in the description box of this video. As you can see in the photo, Adele is wearing some beautiful earrings in the shape of the planet Saturn. Two to cute they do match the tattoo that she has on her arm so the foundation I'll be using in today's video is this one right here from Catrice this is the HD liquid coverage foundation it says it's going to mattify and provide a second skin finish and it's going to last up to 24 hours I don't need it to last 24 hours I don't think Adele needs it to last 24 hours but performers do need it to hold up under those hot set lights so this one is in the shade 110 beige and I'm just gonna drop some out out on the back of my hand. Now I do have my Shop Miss A makeup sponge damp, ready to apply. Now for my forehead, I'm gonna use my makeup brush just because I wanna make sure I don't get my eyebrows <laughs> full of foundation. So I'll be alternating between the brush and the sponge. 
Just getting this little Anissa Beauty Concealer Brush just to make sure I get the area around my eyebrows without removing them. Okay, so I love the finish of this foundation. It says it's a matte finish, but I think it definitely has a bit of a glow to it. And that's how I feel Adele's foundation looks. I know she has to be wearing a matte or satin foundation. I don't know what her skin type is, but definitely under those hot lights, you want something that's going to be mattifying and long wearing and typically full coverage, at least medium coverage. And then I'm sure her makeup artist will spot conceal where necessary. But I like that her skin still looks like her skin, but better. Now for concealer, I pulled the two shades that I have in the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. The first shade I'm going in with is shade 325 Eggshell. And Adele definitely has a brighter under eye area. And I'm going to just apply this lighter shade where I want that light, that lightness. It's a little bit right in here. I'm going to go back in with the concealer brush. I'm going to take that concealer all the way up here as well. How many of you all watched this concert special? I believe it was on CBS here in the States. I didn't get a chance to watch it, but I have seen bits and pieces of it. I've read a few articles. I know that she helped uh, this one man propose to his uh, now fiance. What an amazing proposal that must have been. Imagine to be the lady. Wow, like what a dream come true. Now I know she did a sit down interview with Oprah as well. She looked beautiful in that interview, her outfit. I don't know why when I was watching one of the clips of that interview, I got Kate Winslet vibes from Adele. And that's a good thing. That's a, a good thing. I love Kate Winslet. I think she's a fabulous actress, as do I think Adele is an amazing singer. Such talented women. All right, now I'm just gonna pat over this with that makeup sponge. Now, you know I'm going in with my favorite setting powder at the drugstore. This has just been an amazing find this year for me. It didn't come out this year, but this is the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Loose Finishing Powder. I'm going to use this to set my under eye area and to set my T-zone. Now to help mesh all of the products together, I'm gonna go in with this setting spray from Moira. This is the Micro Dot setting spray. It does control oil and it is a microfine spray with retinol and hyaluronic acid. All right, now one of my favorite things about Adele's makeup look is the bronzer and you can really see the bronzer on her forehead you can also see it contouring the sides of the nose especially right into this area where it almost meshes with the eyeshadow so that is one of the things that just stood out to me the most and one of the reasons why I wanted to try and recreate her makeup look now I'm gonna be using a cream bronzer as well as the powder bronzer and I'm gonna go in with this one first from elf this is the putty bronzer and this one is in the shade Golden Days. And I'm gonna use this Morphe M523. And I'm really going to focus a lot of the bronzer on the forehead. Now, I don't know if they used a cream bronzer beforehand. I would think that maybe that might have been the case. And then they would go in with a powder. Just because, again, having that extra bit of coverage, that extra grip to the powder bronzer through the cream bronzer would help because it gets hot up there. It gets hot performing and being under the lights, no matter how cold the theater might be or if it was, I don't know, was it outdoors? 
think it was outdoors, right? So even more so, it needs to withstand all of the weather and the elements. But even here, just filming for you guys, like it gets hot sitting under these lights. And I do have my AC on. We're still, we've been having beautiful weather here in South Texas. We always have a nice fall season and no complaints, no complaints. I wish it was like this year round to be honest. Now I'm just gonna focus the bronzer like right here. I'm not taking it down any farther just because it doesn't look to me like she has it down any farther. You can really see her blush. So I don't wanna go too heavy handed on the cheeks but definitely the forehead and the temples, I really think that's the focal point of her bronzer. And she even has some on her chest. I'm not wearing a fancy dress like Adele, so I'm not gonna go that far, but it looks beautiful on her. Now I feel like I brought the bronzer down a little too far, so I'm just gonna go back in with that concealer and just pat it in up here. And go back in with the bronzer brush just to make sure everything is seamless. Now for powder bronzer, I'm going to go in with one of my favorites, which is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm just using the same brush. I did wipe it off just to get some of that cream off so it doesn't cause any funky texture. I like this bronzer because it does have a slight little sheen to it. All right, so we definitely have some bronze skin going on. Now it's time to bronze up the nose. Now I'm gonna use this little Luxie 250 brush. And I'm gonna start contouring with the bronzer just because I feel like it doesn't look cool tone on her. And right here, I'm really gonna take the bronzer in and that way when I start creating the eye look, it'll meet with the eyeshadow. And they could have very well used bronzer as her eyeshadow. And I'm only taking the bronzer down to here. And I do think she has bronzer below her nose, right by her nostrils. Now, of course, you want to contour for the shape of your nose. I would usually cut my nose right there, and I probably will just because, well, I want it to flatter me. But you get the idea, and I'm pretty sure you can see that contour like right in here, in the socket of the eye. All right, now let's move on to blush. I pulled out this Miss Claus. This is the Bad and Bougie Cheek Palette. This is from BH Cosmetics. It is part of the Miss Claus Christmas Collection. So the blush that she's wearing definitely looks like a matte blush. So I thought maybe I would go in with this one. But then I also have this one from Wet n Wild in front of me. This was the Fantasy Makers Collection. This is the uh, Let's Get Smashed blush. This was released for Halloween. It smells exactly like pumpkin spice. So I think I might do a mixture of both. Maybe even a little bit of this shade as well. It's really hard for me to kind of gauge which shade of blush she's wearing, but I think it could be a nice combination of all three. I'm actually gonna start with this one. This one is called Sugar Plum. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but once I start mixing it with the others, I'm sure that won't be too prominent. So I'm picking that shade up on a Refer 04. I'm just gonna focus it right out here. And it does look like they wrap the blush around to her temples. I actually think this was a very good shade choice. And I don't know that I'm going to use the Wet n Wild. I think what I'm gonna do is go in with this light pink next. I'm just going to focus that right down here, like towards the apple. We'll work it in going up. All right, now I don't know if she's wearing any highlighter. It 
doesn't look like it or if she is wearing highlighter it's very subtle so i pulled this one from milani this is the baked highlighter in the shade dolce perla so i'm gonna try and go in ever so slightly with this one i say that because you guys know i love a nice blinding highlighter but let's try i'm just gonna focus that right here and i am bringing it down just because i feel like she has a little bit of a glow on her cheek like right here on the apple of her cheek i'm gonna go in with the blush brush all right now to add the final bit of glow i'm going in with this one you can't see it anymore but this is the nyx high glass finishing powder and i've hit pan already in it it's a beautiful powder and it is still available right now on the nyx website so i'm just gonna focus that right up here i don't put this on my nose but for me, this powder just helps to diffuse everything and just blurs everything. It just gives my skin such a beautiful finish. I'm going to add a little bit more blush right here. I feel like every time I use the powder, it kind of diminishes the blush and the highlighter, which is kind of like what it's supposed to do. It's kind of just meant to like mesh everything together kind of tone things down if you got a little heavy handed. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Moira setting spray. Love it. This stuff smells amazing. I love it. If you all live in Texas, check your local HEB because HEB has started to sell Moira. I know it's crazy. I'm so excited for that. All right, now it's time to start creating the eye look. I'm going to add some eyeshadow primer and I'm going to be using the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. All right, now for the eye look, I'm going to be bouncing around between two palettes, but I have a feeling I'm mainly going to stick with this one. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette. This one is in the shade, I have no idea. <laughs> I will have the shade in the description box. It's the one that kind of resembles the Naked Honey Palette, and I have done a review over this and two look tutorial. I'll have that linked up above in case you want to check it out. I'm also going to be dipping into this uh, fairly new one. This is the Wild Heart Palette, also from Wet n Wild. Both amazing palettes. I love them both. No problems whatsoever. So first, I'm going to go into this little palette. And I'm going to be working with this shade primarily in the crease, also bringing it inwards to meet the bronzer right here um, under my eyebrow. And I'm only going to take it out about the length of my brow. So hopefully all goes well. I'm going to be using the Refer 14. I'm probably going to be using the 14 and 13 quite a bit for this eye look. Okay, take a deep breath. Let's get started. Now, we do have different eye shapes. So look a little bit different. I just want to get the same effect. Now I think they might have cut her crease a little bit, so I might be doing that as well. All right, what do we think so far? I think it's okay. I, I think I did okay with that. I feel like I need to define this inner corner a little bit better. All right, I'm just gonna do this one eye on camera and I'll take care of the other eye off camera. But I think I think we got a good a good blend here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I am going to cut the crease just because it looks like she has like a cream shade down on the lid and then there's a little bit of a sparkle on top of it. So let me go ahead and grab some concealer. So I'm going to go in with this one from Revolution Pro. This is the Eye Elements Core Eye Primer and I'm just going to use this to really clean up this area. especially right here, this inner corner. 
All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Wild Heart palette and I'm gonna take the shade right here and apply it to the lid where I've placed down that eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna be using a BK205. I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade and apply it up here to the brow bone. I'm going to go in with the Refer 14, what I was using for the shade. No additional product. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of this shade as well, and I'm going to apply it to the lid. Just like right in this area. Not taking it in the inner corner. Now she definitely has a sparkle going on and I'm gonna try this shade right here. And I'm gonna take it with my finger. I'm just gonna lightly tap it. And that might even be too much. Using that BK Beauty brush that I used a while ago. Actually, this is the perfect shade. This is exactly what I was looking for. Something that wasn't gonna provide color, that was just gonna provide a sparkle, and this is definitely it. I'm gonna focus that right here on the inner corner as well. Okay, now this look is definitely eyeliner heavy. So I think I wanna go ahead and add the eyeliner and I'm gonna be using my Ride or Die Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. But before I do that, I'm gonna go in with this matte black to map out my liner shape. And I'm using this teeny tiny Ruffer Brush 23. Now her wing definitely goes up. And it's definitely very thick in this area right here. So I think like that, I think that's a good shape. Let's hope I can recreate it for the other eye. Now I do think she has lashes on, which I'm gonna add some lashes as well. I think that's a good a good shape. Now I'm gonna go over it with a Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. Now on a Refer 03, I'm gonna go in with the matte white. And I'm gonna apply some right here in the inner corner. Bring it down some as well. And I'm gonna pick up some of that glittery shade just to really make the inner corner pop. All right, now for her lower lash line, it looks like it could be the same shade as up here, and I'm probably gonna do a combination of two different shades. I'm gonna go back in with the Refer 03, and I'm gonna use the shade that I used up here on the lid. Actually, I think this, this might be enough. I don't think I was gonna go in with that deeper brown. I am gonna pick up a little bit of this deeper brown. Just keep it really close. It's definitely a very soft under eye. All right, now she definitely has something bright in the lower waterline. I'm gonna go in with this one from Ulta Beauty. It is their uh, gel liner in the shade, which it is this halo. All right, so I think this looks this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me finish the other eye off camera and I'm gonna add some lashes and I'll be right back to show you the completed eye look. All right guys, so what do you think about the eye look? Did I get it? Did I come close? I think I at least came close, right? Let's move down to lips because that is gonna be the finishing touch of this look. Now I pulled out three different shades from the Wet n Wild Mega Last uh, collection and I'm gonna swatch them back here. This shade right here is called Never Nude. I don't think that's the shade that she's wearing. This next one I'm gonna swatch is called Mocha Licious. 
That one might be a closer match. And then this last one, this last one is called Bear It All. I don't think that one's it either. I think let's just go with Mochalicious. Now I'm more than sure she has a lip liner on, but I don't think I have one that exactly matches the lipstick shade. So I have this one close by. This is the ColourPop and uh, Malibu Barbie collection. This one is in the shade Golden Beach. I'm gonna fill in my lips with this one as well. Okay, now let's go in with a little bit of Mochalicious. I'm gonna try not to be too heavy handed. I'm gonna add a little bit of this ColourPop lippy stick. This one is in the shade At Twilight. I don't think this is quite it, but I think it's a little bit better than just the shade Mochalicious. But it's definitely a matte lip that she's wearing. I think this completes the look. What do you guys think? The lashes I'm wearing are from Kiss, and they are these right here. They're in a style called Poise. They're a very soft lash. I don't feel like the lashes Adele is wearing are very like dramatic lashes. I think they look like her lashes, but better, and that's how I feel these lashes make my real lashes look. So wanted to go in with that. The mascara I have on is the Lash Princess from Essence. It's the purple one. It is the Sculpted Volume Mascara. Now, now let me just give myself one last miss of the Moira Micro Dot Setting Spray. Did I accomplish Adele? <laughs> Please tell me I came close. I like it. I, even though this is like a neutral eye look, I like like the cut crease with like the bronzy shade. Almost the same shade that she has for her actual bronzer is what they used in her crease. And I like like this cream color lid with that ever little bit of sparkle and of course the dramatic cat eye. I just like the look and I like that the look is bronzer heavy and I also like that I was able to achieve a somewhat similar look using all drugstore and affordable makeup products which of course I will have linked and listed in the description box of today's video. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this Adele One Night with Adele concert inspired look? Did I come close or did I fail miserably? Please be gentle in the comments. And guys, before you go, share your favorite Adele song with us in the comments down below. My favorites are When We Were Young and Sky Fall. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.